What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with more PCM 2021 gameplay and today I thought we'd take a look at the Col de Tourmalet and try to recreate Thibaut Pinot's victory atop the Col de Tourmalet at the 2019 Tour de France and of course it looks in that moment like Thibaut Pinot was one of if not the best climbers in the world but his career has taken a little dive since then and of course everyone loves Thibaut Pinot so let's try and get the win again today. Away we go then guys for stage 14 of the Tour de France 2019 yet again but unlike at that race we have the likes of Pogaccia here, Roglic, Carapaz. I mean, we have a much stronger start list because all the best climbers in the world do seem to be here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But also saying that, though, Pino does have a plus three day. His stats have taken a big hit since then. 79 miles in. He used to have, I think, 83 um, a couple years ago around the time he won on the Tourmalet. So, yeah, he has gone downhill a little bit in that sense. Let's maybe, though, try and get up the roads and in the breakaway. So, I think we've pulled a bit of a smooth manoeuvre right here because six riders in the breakaway three minutes as well Madaras is here a plus two day for Valentin Madaras some decent climbers are here but Madaras has 78 miles in on the day hopefully he can really help out Thibaut later on on the Col de Tourmalet and again guys I feel like I've mentioned it every single PCM 21 video I've done so far but I went to get water with Kung I did it too late ahead of the climb. He couldn't get any water to the guys and they're all really thirsty. It just seems to happen every single video right now. And by the way, at the front, Madaras and Ede have dropped everyone else in that breakaway. Only two and a half minutes for them though. So now we have attacks before the Col de Tourmalet. Emmanuel Bookman on the attack with Mike Woods and Dan Martin on his wheel. I can't really see that one working myself to be honest. And Carnage as all our guys want to get water. I'm sorry guys, I really am. I think they've all got some finally. And to be honest, it doesn't look like the best idea to put Valentin Madaras up in the breakaway. We'll just sit on right now because uh, yeah, he doesn't have the most energy. We'll probably drop back to the peloton actually. Here we go then, 18k to go in this stage and the Col de Tourmalet has begun 7.5k on average. The thing with the Tourmalet is it's very consistent throughout the entire climb. It doesn't have any super steep pitches, but it doesn't really have any flatter sections either. So very difficult for the entire way. I'm trying to move up in this group because I can sense some attacks coming, but I mean, when the guys stop, it's so difficult to force your way through and it's too late now because Bardet, Carthy and Geraint Thomas and Teddy Pogetcher are all on the attack right now. Let's move through if we can. No one really has been able to go on clear just yet, but Pino is dropping back in this group far too easily for my liking. Again, no one gone clear and they're really spending a lot of energy trying to do so. So we have 10k to go on the Col de Tourmalet. Godou is tempoing on the front of this group. I'll try and get to his wheel actually with Thibaut as Reichenbach is going to be done. Up the road we have Guillaume Martin, Pagacha and Richard Carapaz. So Godou is going to try and lead up Pino for a little bit. Let's drop this to 67 as again Sepkus this guy is crazy. They're really trying to open up this race. Reichenbach is gone. And look at all the strong riders. Vlasov, for example. Bardé out the back already. So Pogaccia and Carapaz look very tired, I must say. We're going to sit in for now with Pino. We have uh, Quintana, Roglic, Lopez. All really struggling. Even Roglic seems to be weaving a bit. Simon Yates as well. So I feel like... We could be in a pretty good position here. Now Pogaccia has left Carapaz behind as well as Roglic. Starting to press on just a little bit. Godou is going to go out the back pretty shortly. We have six and a half K to go. And I think we can think about making a move. So here goes David Godou. Quintana is really trying to block Thibaut right here. I'm sure of it. Everywhere I go, he's following me. But now I think Roglic is going to relay for a little bit. But 5k to go. Let's go. Thibaut Pino is going to launch his assault on the Tourmalet. Who can follow Thibaut right now? Let's see. We only have Roglic and Quintana able to follow. And we will make our way to Tadej Pogacar as Nairo Man is gone as well. And it's Pino, Pogacar and Roglic at the front. And are they gone? Are they gone already? 4k to go. We'll try and press on here. Roglic and Pogaccia cannot follow Thibaut Pino, and it looks like we're going to win on the Tourmalet with Pino. Let's go. In the end, guys, it's going to be a pretty substantial win. Kelderman coming back in the end, but Thibaut Pino doesn't even need to use all of his energy. Let's celebrate. Let's enjoy this one, Thibaut. Big celebrations on the line. Thibaut Pino 
wins at the Col de Tourmalet things. You love to see. That's the celebration he did in real life as well. You absolutely love to see it. Clermont Champoussin, by the way, is going to get a top 10. What a ride. Simply lovely to see Thibaut Pino atop the Tourmalet. Victorious yet again. Been a while, I must admit. And if you enjoyed today, make sure you drop a like on the video. Drop a sub as well if you're new. We have plenty more PCM 21 content coming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.